In this course, we're going to create a compiler that can compile the C programming language. Are you ready to prove that you're capable of creating such a project? I am Daniel McCarthy, your teacher. I will be here throughout the entire duration of this course to help you create your very own C compiler. Your C compiler will compile a subset of the C programming language. For loops will be supported. While loops, do while loops, break, continue, switch, if, else if. All C statements are supported. C structures, C unions, the macro system, functions, function calls, return, the list goes on. Upon completing this course, your C compiler will compile the majority of the C programming language. You'll be able to throw most C files at it and it will compile it without any problems at all. Majority of the C programming language can be compiled with our compiler. By the end of this course, you'll be able to throw C files at your C compiler and watch them get compiled into a beautiful executable binary that you can run. The course is split into multiple modules. In module one, you will learn how to create a lexer and a parser. A lexer will take your C source file input and it will create token output. We then have all these tokens, such as a keyword token, an operator token, an identifier token, and we can pass those into a parser. And when it goes into the parser, out comes a tree, a literal tree, abstract syntax tree, with a node going from node to going from node, going from node. That is what we do in module one. In module two, we take that tree and we pass it to the code generator. And when it's being passed to the code generator, the code generator will go through all of the nodes in the abstract syntax tree and it will create assembly language to do what you've asked it. Okay, the assembly language will do what the C program says to do. Our code generator will output the assembly language that performs the same tasks as the source file input. In module two, during the code generation phase, you will learn all about what stack frames are, why they're important. Your assembly skills will drastically improve, although I do recommend coming to the course with some assembly experience. There is an assembly catch section in module two. In module two, we also create what I call the resolver. The resolver is responsible for taking an advanced expression and splitting it up into rules that the code generator can easily understand. I believe this is important because it takes away the responsibility from the code generator and abstracts out some of the more complicated logic. By the end of module two, you'll have a C compiler that can compile most C programs without problems, including pointers, structure pointers, function calls. It's able to call printf. It's able to call any C library function without any problems. That's what you get by the end of module two. Now in module three, we implement the preprocessor and the semantic validator. So essentially, if we set a variable that doesn't exist, we want the compiler to say, you can't do that, the variable doesn't exist. That's semantic validation. So our semantic validator will, will go through our tree and, and it will ensure that you're not doing anything silly like setting variables that don't exist, using structures that aren't declared and so on. Now the preprocessor, which will also be done in uh, module three, is responsible for the C macro system. So you know when you do hashtag define, hashtag include stdio.h, all of these are the responsibility of the macro system, okay, the preprocessor. So by the time you finish module three, your C compiler will essentially be able to run most C programs. Uh, you'll be able to throw all sorts of programs at it and it will be able to compile them at, with ease without any problems. So these are the three modules in this course that will allow you to create your own C compiler. Start today.